بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Okay, the next thing uh, we'll see in this section, we'll see what is network automation and what are the actual goals of network automation, why we need that and how it is going to simplify our job. And if you remember in the previous section, we already discussed the different challenges or the methods. You, the traditional methods, whatever we are using for network management, what are the challenges or the problems you will face? So in simple, the network automation is uh, automation of your task. So the name itself says it's a process of automating most of the tasks, like whatever the task, like you want to make some changes, those changes can be automated by some kind of software. You can also manage your network uh, automatically and you don't need to go to each and every device and do that. You can also automatically test. You can test those things and even deploy any new device you want to add that can be automatically deployed and automatically the new device can have its own configurations within the network. So technically that is what we call it as network automation. It's the automation of your network. Auto, all the, whatever the task we do generally in the network, those tasks can be automated. So, okay. so whatever you do, like each and every network task and the functions can be automated. And this is going to minimize the repetitive to task like every day you come and you generate a ping and verify or you make any changes like most of the repetitive tasks can be minimized and that can be done automatically this is going to improve your network service availability so like availability of your network that can be improved so let's get into some more details like how or what exactly network automation will do to your network so the first thing it is going to reduce like previously we have seen box by box management where you have to go to each and every device or each and every box. You have to log into that particular command line and then copy paste the configurations or type the command line. So those things can be minimized. So with the help of um, automation, network automation, let's say you got hundreds of devices, hundreds, thousands of devices, let's say. So all these devices, you don't need to go to go and configure manually. Like we have said manually, normally you have to go to manual each and every device, one after the other. And this process is more time consuming. Okay, so whatever this process, this process can be automated. So we can automate and say that, okay, whatever the things you do, those tasks, we are going to uh, tell to the software and it's going to do it automatically in the back end. Okay, so this is going to minimize the number of people because if you're doing manually, the number of people required that will increase the IT staff to complete that particular task. But if there is something automated, then you, you don't need to do much, means human intervention is very less, where automatically these things can happen at the back end. It can be configuration or it can be updates, like these are the options can be automated. So next thing is like uh, eliminate the repetitive task. Now, now with the help of network automation, there are some tasks, let's say there are a few tasks uh, which will be like repeated on multiple devices. Like maybe you got some, uh, some kind of configurations like ACL, NAT, OSP of configurations, or maybe some kind of VLAN configurations, trunking configurations, STP configurations. So these are like the repetition of the same configuration on multiple devices. And let's say you have to set up this on hundreds of devices. So what we can do is we can uh, tell these particular devices instead of going to each and every device and generally copy pasting, that's uh, something what we generally do instead of using copy paste on each and every device, whatever the commands, five, six commands, 10 commands or whatever, we can automate this. Okay, so we can say, we can go and say automate this particular process. So this will minimize the repetitive task, eliminate the repetitive task. You don't need to do it again and again. And also this will avoid the errors because what we are going to do is we are going to uh, provide some kind of script where it is, it is done automatically uh, with the help of some kind of software and all the configurations will be applied 
in more faster way than a normal uh, normal normally when you do one by one so this is uh, one more thing that can be automated and apart from that we can standardize the software types and the procedures now standardized software types is nothing but now once we once we eliminate the box by box management and once we remove all these things like eliminate the repetitive task or even the human errors all these things can be removed based on the options based on the automation so this is going to provide you some kind of standardized procedure on all the devices so you have a standardized procedure on all the devices like common standardized procedure so it actually removes the variations in how to do the things in different network operating systems which means when you are doing standardized uh, standardized uh, procedure when you follow so depending even though you are running some kind of different operating systems probably uh, it will it is going to remove most of the variations uh, variations when you are running multiple network operating systems and apart from that you can also provide uh, identify a specific device specific platform uh, a specific software version like this now this is something like let's say in your production network we got some routers and maybe you got some hundreds of devices hundreds of routers in that specifically you want to identify one model let's say i want to identify a 3900 series router and this particular router should be identified from there and also i want the software to check what is the operating system it is running let's say it is running some kind of 15.0 ios so i want to check if it is running ios anything less than 15.0 i want that to be upgraded to let's say 15.4 so you can uh, configure or automate the automate the task to identify the devices or a specific platform and if it is running this ios versions less than that so i can tell to upgrade this particular operating system so or the ios so this can be done again so that's what here identify a specific device model or the platform and upgrade the software or the version or the features of the particular uh, software okay so this is one more thing we can do and this will also lead to uh, standard upgrade procedures the same thing and also consistent changes now consistent changes refers to let's take an example in your company we got a user 1 and we got a user 2 and the user 1 made some changes let's say he had, he logged into the device and he made some changes let's say three four commands and maybe the user 2 also logged in and made some other changes now there is some inconsistency in the configuration because the different users may log in and may made some changes uh, which are which are different again so this kind of things can be can be removed again so you can have a consistent uh, configuration changes on the network where you you don't need to worry about like the user one logged in and changed and maybe the next user logged in user two and he changed so you don't need to worry about that because you are going to create one standardized uh procedure or standardized configurations configurations to the automation software and it is going to apply that configurations automatically in general so again it is going to utilize some kind of scripts scripts or the tools to perform most of the changes like scripts are nothing but it is a kind of collection of commands so a set of commands will be collected and all these commands are run at a particular time by using some kind of scripts okay so which is something we'll see in the software side so this way we can automate the future configuration changes in a specific time means i can say this particular set of commands should be executed let's say you want to upgrade the operating system and you want to upgrade this particular operating system like copy uh, probably you want to upgrade the operating system copy from so and so tftp server so and so image Uh, into the flash you want to copy and you want to execute this particular command maybe let's say around uh, 3 pm or maybe 4 pm you can schedule it so based on that schedule it is going to automatically make changes 
uh, in the in the future future changes or we can schedule it at a specific time so we can utilize those things the scripts and the tools again this will apply the consistency consistent uh, policy across the network now consistent uh, policy is nothing but ensuring that the network is configured the same way as you think which means uh, we can we can simply say okay whatever the changes i'm going to apply are they are they exactly the same what the way i want or what my company wants because normally there are multiple network engineers working at the same time and if the multiple network engineers are logging into the device and making changes that may that may not be consistent but here when you are centralizing the changes from the software or from the automation point of view then we can have consistency in the configurations and whatever the issues like inconsistent configurations can be minimized or we can we can avoid those things apart from that reducing the time uh, for troubleshooting that's the next thing now reducing the time in the sense like most of the time in the network you you spend more time on troubleshooting because once you make any changes once your network is ready uh, probably your job is to make sure that your network is up and running and if there is any problem your job is to make sure that that problem is actually identified and it's being fixed so with the help of automation what we'll be doing is we are going to reduce the time to to troubleshoot or to repair your network probably up to 50 60% something like that so how it is going to do that so probably with the help of network automation uh, what it is going to do is it is uh, it is going to identify specific problems and based on the problem it will provide you some kind of step by step solutions like most of the automation softwares have something called artificial intelligence and even there is something called machine learning features now with the help of this uh, this artificial intelligence option so probably if there is any problem comes so it is going to identify that okay this is a problem then it's going to identify the problem and then it will provide you some kind of steps some easy user friendly steps okay there is Uh, some kind of routing issue let's say the neighborship is down so if the neighborship is down okay go and execute this command show ip osp of neighbor and then depending upon again the output i can say if the output shows you uh, something else and based on that i can say okay go and execute this command this command like that so with the help of uh, this automation of the troubleshooting we can minimize the amount of time you spend on the on the troubleshooting okay so this way we can reduce the the time the normal time what you spend on the troubleshoot and so that you can utilize that particular time in either learning or upgrading your network which which will be more productive for the company okay so apart from that uh, there is one more thing we can do with the network automation automate your network documentation and the diagrams like one of the challenge you will face in the network is the documentation it's probably the documentation and the diagrams because the documentation and the diagrams defines what your network is let's say you are you are working for a company let's say you got some 10 plus years of experience and you are you are being hired by some some xyz company and before you start working you need to understand the network and this documentations and the diagrams are going to give an idea on what is your network how it looks and what is exactly configured and what is exactly running in the network so the normal scenarios in the normal cases most of the documentations and the diagrams has to be updated manually like whenever you make any changes probably you need to use some kind of software like physio or or some kind of other softwares so probably the network teams will learn uh, different softwares and this talk soft with the help of this softwares that will be they will be updating and that may not be the exact sometimes because sometimes you you may forget to do something maybe you didn't update few things on the documentation or maybe sometimes 
uh, you you the network diagnosis may not be accurate or correct okay so that that is one kind of challenging challenge what you will face normally so with the help of automation what i can do is we can automate this network diagrams which means whenever you make any changes to the network so with the help of automation softwares it is going to automatically update the network diagram as per the changes and also the documentations so so this will make sure that it is up to date and where there is no manual uh, manually you have to do this okay so almost like with with no or very less manual inter intervention is required so these are some of the goals of network automation